Hey guys and welcome back to another video and Fonny here. So today in this video, we're going to be adding my Sun Austin Vector Colony into their new um, tank slash living space that we saw in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, it'll be up here in the right hand corner. But if you guys did, then you know this is part three and we're moving them in. So last time we made the tank and then now we're going to be adding our ants in. So this is going to be sad, but I think it's ready. So last time our ants are going to be in their setup, which is here. Uh, they've been in this for a couple months but yeah it's just easier and it'll be more cost friendly for me and my situation to have if i was able to move them into a big tank instead of keep on buying add-ons and adding and adding and adding and adding because that stuff costs a lot of money especially when you buy high-end stuff um which of course i want to give my ants the best but they're gonna be moving into their new tank now if you don't remember last video the new tank we made so yeah and that's pretty sad we're saying bye bye to this old setup, but I'm ready. And it's going to be fun to watch them. And they I just, they deserve a natural setup habitat like that. Um, I think it would suit them pretty well. Because my species, of Solano, I have Solanops in Vecta, which is a species of fire ants. But they're they're known for like their their um, growth rate and stuff like that. So they should be fine. Especially if you keep them well fed and stuff. And they, they like adventure and new stuff new. And they like to dig. They for sure like to build... Uh, underground tunnels so yeah this will suit them very much hope you guys enjoy the video and uh make sure to check out the website at anifornia.com if you haven't already in the last video um or first link down in the description all right enjoy started to move their brood which is a good thing which means they're uh, getting comfortable and they found a suitable spot to start moving into or multiple suitable spots to move into so that's always a good sign
over the course of the night, I just went ahead and uh, took the things out as they came out, um, as they got more clean and clean, um, less ants on them and they cleaned them out. So this is what it looks like without nothing in it. Um, this is what the tank's gonna stay like. So yeah, um, I've took out everything. It's all right here. This is everything that was in there. So over the course of the night, I just kept taking it out, sitting it over here. They've taken to liking my warm spot over here. So that's where they moved the queen to. And that's where they're making all their tunnels and all their, most of their tunnels and all their uh, mounds is by the heating pad. They do have some on the other side in different spots, but this is where they mostly mainly went to and they moved most of their larva and brood. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the update on them, um, the week update, and uh, when I start feeding them the first feeding in their tank. But yeah, um, make sure to check me out on Instagram here. Check me out on Twitter here. And be sure to check out my website, antifornia.com, for all your helpful ant things and needs. Um, I really like this tank and setup because I feel like it suits them really well. They moved in quick. They they like it. They're just adjusting well. So yeah, uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you haven't yet, check out in the right hand corner for more of my ant videos. And let me know, let me know now in the comments what you guys think of it, how you guys feel about it, and everything. This has been Ant Fonia. Thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.